Hello, hello everybody. This is Moses here at ELC. In this short video, I'm going to show you the updated version of the Time Manager uh, made in Microsoft Access 2010. Um, so this is the the login. This is the login form, and uh, when you come on the user on the username, you have the list of the people that have accounts in in, the, uh, in this program. Now, when you have added all the students in the program, all the students are going to show up in this list okay so that each one of them uh, will be able to log into the program and and clock in and, uh, and clock out now you also have an an admin account of which you can we can customize uh, depending on how you want it to to be and they are privileged for the admin and also privileged for just a student all right and i'm going to show you um, more about that so far, we're going to log in as as a, as the admin. Okay, so this is how uh, the user interface looks. All right, so we have some filters over here. FR stands for freshmen, SP stands for uh, sophomores, and JN juniors, and SN uh, for seniors. And then when you go over here, you'll be able to see uh, the list of the students that are variable in the system. Or the list of the staff that are available in the system okay uh, when you come over here you'll be able to see the activities that are going on in the log table the information is quite repetitive but uh, it's very important uh, that this this table is here so that you may be able to see uh, those who are active and those who are not active all right um, when you come over here you have the setting settings form and then over here you have just a refresh button and when you log in as the admin your name is going to show up over here all right um, but when you log in as a student uh, your name is going to show up over here there won't be a name over, over there but there will be a name over here so that when you come over here you'll be able to see the uh, the student log history um, so I'll explain more uh, what is going on over here all right so to begin with our filters with our filters when you click over here you'll be able to see the students that are there in the freshman class you click over here uh, you'll be able to see for sophomores we don't have names over there because we just have few names in the system that are for just uh, for giving an example in this short video all right when you click over there you'll be able to see those in junior class and over here you'll be able to see those in the senior class all right, when okay. you come over here, you'll be able to view uh, the log history for a specific student within a specific date range. Okay, so what you can do is that you have to select the student that you want to view the history of. And for example, let me get this person over here and then let me refresh. Um, so as you can see, uh, the information is going to show up here and the name of the person is going to show up here. Now, the information here is showing uh, based on the Data range that we have put over here. If you want to view the information um, that happened just on the 19th, we can filter that information by uh, by doing that. And then when we refresh, it's going to show the information specifically within that specific date range. Okay. Now there are sometimes where you have your students. Uh, that they don't have access to the computer and they've written their hours on paper um, then you can manually put, put that information in the history of the student take for instance that the student worked on the 17th uh, and then you can put the dates over there manually and uh, for example they started working at all 6 30 up uh, 0 8 30 let's just make it maybe 9 30 and then when you calculate the hour it's going to say three hours okay so the person has worked for three hours um so what you can do uh you can add the hours to the history of the student now as you can notice when you click on the refresh it's not showing this activity the reason why it's not showing is because our date range is just between 19 and 19. so for us to see the history of uh, the information that we have added we have to say from 17 19 when we refresh we'll be able to see that information so the three hours 
that we have added has showed up here and in the history it's going to show do the calculation and tell us that this person between this date range has worked for eight hours and some seconds okay so you can do the same thing for other for other students um uh, you can you can do that you can come here to manually add the information or just to view the, the history of a student between a, uh, between a specific dead range okay so this is the function for this uh, for this area um, of which of which I like it was suggested by the my brother in cross David and um, and I think it's very important uh, it's very important that uh, that is added to the program okay now when you come over here for example if you want to uh, take for instance this student has to log in or to clock in um, click over there automatically the time in is going to be put there and these are going to be disabled so that you just it, to guide you so that you're going exactly on the submit button so you can click over here and um, can get this person over there and also submit all right now when you click on this person again and you want to clock them in when they are already clocked in this is the message that's going to show up it's going to tell you that okay please note that you are already in so which means the person is only allowed to clock in once and then clock themselves out once the, the the process is complete that's when they'll be able to to start the process again so in order for the person to clock in they have to clock themselves out okay when the process is, is complete then they'll be allowed by the system to clock in again all right which is which i think is also a um, very cool uh, feature to interact with all right okay now as the admin you have the privilege to interact with all um, with all the students um, that are there in this in the system you can you can clock them in there is no problem uh, you can you can do that uh, there's no problem but when the student logs in take for instance this person logs in you will notice that the admin name disappears um, okay so this area is just for the admin so the name of the student is going to show up here all right now if this person wants to clock out other students the privilege is not available to the students and for example if the person clicks this one so say no you can't do that and if the person does this you say no you can't do that so the person is only allowed to interact with their name in the system so if I come over here I'm allowed to do that then I can submit all right but other students I won't be able to do that um, so only the admin has the ability or the privilege uh, the privilege to to interact with all the students with regard to clocking them in and clocking them out all right so let's go to the settings area so when you come over here you have uh, this instruction to the user uh, this is you this is there on the login form when this when someone says uh, forgot password this is what's going to show up it's going to guide the person on what to do uh, when it comes to renewing the password stuff like that okay so let's log in again as admin and then let's go to settings okay and this one locks this the settings the, se the settings one uh, this function is, is available also in the previous version um, okay so when you do that you can, you can set the password just one two three four maybe uh, so when you come over here you'll be required to be required to log in so say one two three four and then we are in okay if you don't like that you can make sure that you uncheck it all right over here you can put the details of yours the school and stuff like that and then over here you have the privilege to add the students okay so for example we have John Mark John Mark 
and his ID is one two three four five six, and then the password is one two. Let's say one two three four. Um, where this area can receive different kind of characters, you can combine numbers and other characters and stuff like that. Okay, and this person is in the all right in the software class. Let's say SP. Then we can say uh, remember password. Um, no, we don't want the person to be the admin. Now we can make as many people as we want as admin. We can do that. Uh, for example, I can make this one to be the admin, stuff like that. Um, so when we when we log up, um, and then I pick this person over there, do that, we find that this person is gonna be as the admin, and then the person has the the privilege of that of the admin. Um, okay, so we can, we can do that. And then when we refresh a little bit, when we come on the the sophomore place, you find that uh, John Mark is appearing over here. Okay, so that's um, that's how we add uh, students to the to the system and also their passwords and, and stuff like that. All right, so uh, what else did I leave? Okay, the report. Okay. Uh, over here we have our report and uh, when you click over here you'll be able to see the total hours that the person has um, has worked now this report also is dependent on the date range that you set over here so if you are filtering the information between the 17th and the 19th um, you'll be able to view the report uh, for that specific date range, if you want to filter the information between between the 18 and the 19, and then let's refresh a little bit, and then we got the report, and then we do that. Um, so we have the information just between that date range. Okay, now even the total hours that are that are there that just for that specific date range. So. Uh, just remember to put the date range uh, so that you have at, at least the exact information that you're looking for. Otherwise, this is how the system works. And if you have any questions, uh, you can leave that in the comment section. Uh, and then if if you want this program, you'll be able to find that on the official website, opuslive.com, and that I'm going to uh, I'm going to put the link in the in the description. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. God bless.